Hey everyone and welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel, DIY Dwight, where Matthew and I attempt to be Joanna and Chip Games. <laughs> Today we are going to try to refurbish our existing bathroom because it's really expensive to change everything. We have this lovely plastic fiberglass tub shower, from state 19, of the art. From 1987. We're going to try to transform this yellow color to more of a white color and we picked up some subway tile to put above it for a nice fresh new look. Also, as I'll show you later, we have a gorgeous state-of-the-art vanity in here that we're just going to see if we can just add a little nicer touches to without having to drop $800 on a new vanity. So stay tuned, check it out, and let's see if we can actually do this. Let's get started! Woo! First things first, we have to fix this, um, <laughs> this wonky caulking that was put on here because the tile won't lay flat. So we got our crowbar and we got our little scraper. We're going to see how. Now Matt and I are sanding down the wall so that we create a nice rough surface for the plastic to stick to so that the tile can then adhere to it really nicely. Okay, so we cleaned off the top, made it really level, used everything we could find with a flat edge, from a flat edge screwdriver to um, a little tiny knife to be careful with, and a crowbar, which was really heavy but really worked. And now we are going to install the tile. You guys have seen us install tile before, and if you haven't, we'll put the link to that video down here in the description whenever we did the backsplash in our kitchen. So I'm going to speed through this part for you. That's looking pretty good. Last bugger. Okay, so I just pried this old trim off the wall. Another state-of-the-art piece in our bathroom. Um, really old, really rotted, and needs to be replaced. So we're going to remove the sink from the counter, and actually remove the counter too. We just bought a new countertop, vanity top, and it comes with a new sink. So we're replacing this one. Now that I've sanded the whole front of this, gotten all the paint off, and cleaned up the mess, we're gonna try and remove the countertop. seems the backsplash is attached to the mirror, so I'm going to have to remove the mirror now. Now that I've got the mirror off, I'm just removing the rest of the vanity top. A couple of screws here and it should lift right off. Now we're going to take the plywood that we cut to size and glue it in. All right, now we're just going to clamp everything into place. Now we're unscrewing the old shower arm and screwing in our new one. These are our glorious cabinets all laid out getting ready to get stripped. So we bought a paint peeling product that said that it only took five minutes to work, but we found that to pour this ooey gooey stuff on and let it sit overnight was much better. We used a simple scraper from our garage after letting the product sit on the wood overnight, and as you can see it worked like a charm. I 
totally recommend this product, especially for the price. But like I said before, the package is not really being honest with you when it says five minutes. It works way better if you let it sit on the plywood or the cabinetry or whatever you're trying to get the paint off of overnight. Again, four hours later. Perfect. Now we're just installing our new pop-up drain. If you guys haven't seen these yet, they're pretty incredible. All it is a couple pieces, you follow the instructions on the back, there's no plumber's putty, and it installs just like that. If you want to screw in the other side, you can. Yeah, I'm gonna switch sides. I'm gonna go grab an old hinge so That's... we can compare. Because that sounds like a good idea. For the record, that was my idea. <laughs> Here we're making a wooden frame to line the perimeter of our wall mirror. We bought a bit of liquid nails to make the mirror stick to the wall. Improvising shower rod to hold it on so the liquid nails can dry. Pretty creative. Now we're just finishing the last part of our bathroom overhaul and painting our tub. We used Rust-Oleum's tile and tub paint and applied it with a short nap roller. We only had one container and we're only able to get one coat out of it. So we'll probably do another one at a later time. But if you don't have a tub shower enclosure, you should be able to get at least two coats, no problem. Alright everyone, that's a wrap. You'll have to let us know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe, and check back soon for more videos. Because we're on to the master bathroom after this. What?